So a question that sometimes comes up in the Articulate Storyline forums is, can we make the player around your storyline content, all of this Chrome that we see as far as the menu and the controls and stuff, can we make that all go away completely so that there's no evidence of the player at all? And you can, which is really great if you're building your own player controls and you really don't want to have you know, any of these clickable items or any of these controls or the menu or anything visible on your player. So let's close this out and see how to do it. Um, what we're going to do is come up to the Home tab and then click the Player button, and that's going to open up our Player Properties Manager. When we land here, we're first going to be looking at the Features area of the Player Properties, and here's where we can start removing stuff. So in this list of Player tabs, you'll probably have a few things that are marked here, and you can just go ahead and unmark everything that has a check mark next to it, and you'll see you know, over here the preview is changing as I'm unmarking those items. We also want to get rid of this title up here in the upper left. This is our course title, and we can unmark that right here under Features, and then that goes away on our preview. We can also get rid of this volume control. That's under Controls, so we'll unmark that, and now that goes away. And the Previous and Next buttons, those are actually taken care of someplace else, so we'll look at how to get rid of those in a minute. We don't do that in the Player Properties Manager. We actually take care of those in the Slide Properties. But while we're here, we can do something else, and that is we can get rid of this gray perimeter around the edge of our slide, this little border. And to do that, we're going to come up to Colors and Effects, and then click Show Advanced Color Editing. And there are three items that we want to pay attention to. They're called Base, Background. We're going to select that and then make it 100% transparent. And then another item that we want to choose is Base, Border. And that one, too, we're going to make 100% transparent. And then the third item, and this is where we'll really see a big change, is called Base Slide Background. And we choose that and make it 100% transparent. You'll see that everything around the edge of our slide goes away. So all of that border is now gone. So now let's go ahead and close this, and we'll see how we can remove these Previous and Next buttons as well. So we'll click OK and go back to our slides. And the Previous and Next buttons are taken care of in the Slide Properties. And this is kind of cool because that means that you can turn them on or off for any individual slide that you want, which is pretty nice. It's nice to have that flexibility when you're building some courses. But in our case, in this case, we want to get rid of everything on every slide. Sometimes you want to just turn those buttons off on all your slides. So what you can do is go to Story View like we are right now, and I've just got a few placeholder slides here, but um, what I wanted to show you is that you don't need to go through and you know remove the previous and next buttons one at a time. You're going to find them over here in the lower right in the Slide Properties pane, but the cool thing about, slide, um, about Story View is that you can multi-select all of your slides in a single scene and remove the previous and next buttons for all of them at once. So I'm going to select the first one, then do a Control A, now they're all selected, and I can remove the Previous and Next buttons on all of them. And when you do that, you might see things rearrange a little bit here, like we just saw, and that's because on these particular slides, I don't have any other triggers set up that would um, you know, form a path for how the learners navigate among these slides. If you have buttons or other methods of you know, creating navigation on your slides, this probably isn't going to happen. OK, so now let's go ahead and preview this and see what we get. So now it looks like just a plain old slide with nothing around it. All the Chrome that was part of the player has gone away. Now if you find yourself using a Chromeless player like this a lot, what you can do is save that player so it's available for other courses that you build. So to do that, you're going to go to the Home tab and then click Player. And when the Player Properties Manager pops up, you can use this Current Player button after you've made all the changes that you want on your player and just choose Save As. And then you can give your player a name. And I actually did that already. I saved a Chromeless player um, a few minutes ago, and I've got this other instance of Storyline open. And if we go into the player properties for this project, we've still got the default player in place. You know, So what we could do, though, now that we've saved out that Chromeless player, we can just come up to Current Player, choose Open, and then select the player that we want to use. And the preview redraws, and now we see the Chromeless version. Now again, the previous and next buttons are still going to appear because I would need to go through on this project's slides and remove those you know, from the slide properties. Um, but that doesn't take very long if you do it in Story View. So that's how you can remove all evidence of the Storyline player from your projects.